dear students i dr y s dangi going to present you a lecture on factors affecting aerial photography the parameters affecting aerial photography are atmospheric conditions scale flight direction time season of photography altitude and camera angle and flight height atmospheric conditions the presence of particles that is smoke or dust and molecules of gases in the atmosphere tends to reduce contrast because of scattering therefore the best time of the year is when the sky is clear specifically from november to february scale scale is the ratio of distance between two objects on an aerial photograph and the actual distance between the same two objects on the ground in other words the ratio of focal length of the camera lens and flying height of the aircraft from the datum due to variations in flying height the scales of different photographs may vary scale may also vary because of the effects of tilt and relief displacements flight direction aerial photography is done in strips to cover the area of interest it is advisable to keep the number of strips to minimum therefore the flight direction of strips is kept along the length of the area time season of photography normally aerial photography is done when the sun's elevation is 30 degrees above the horizon or 3 hours before and after the local noon time altitude and camera angle flight height in general the altitude of the aircraft depends on the area to be covered and the focal length of the lens usually the range is from 3000 to 6000 feet for a given focal length of an aerial camera the higher the camera is the larger the area each aerial photo can cover obviously the scale of aerial photographs taken at higher altitudes will be smaller than those taken at lower altitudes however photographs taken at higher altitudes will be severely affected by the atmosphere this is particularly true when films sensitive to shorter wavelength are used thus ultraviolet and blue should be avoided at longer or higher altitudes instead cir or bwir is more suitable camera orientation camera angle for aerial photography can be either vertical or oblique vertical photographs are taken with the camera pointed straight down at the ground often through a porthole in the bottom of the plane while obliques are taken with the camera pointed other than straight down usually out a window high oblique photographs are ones that include the horizon that is low oblique photographs do not for crop monitoring vertical photography has some important advantages over oblique that is resolution is better because the entire image on each frame is equidistant from the ground in compared to oblique where the upper portion of the frame being further away whitens and fades patterns particularly subtle ones can be seen much easier each frame covers about the same amount of acreage if the aircraft flies at the constant height and acreage estimates can be made much more accurately the disadvantage of vertical photography is that it requires a higher degree of planning and preparation than oblique two type of camera orientations are used such as vertical and oblique or slant as shown in the figure oblique allows one to take picture of a large area while vertical allows for less distortion in photo scale view angle view angle is normally determined by the focal length of the camera lens and the frame size of the film for a camera the frame is fixed therefore the ground coverage is determined by the altitude and the camera viewing angle obviously wide angles allow a larger area to be photographed equipment camera virtually any good 35 mm camera 
can be used. One with a built in light metering system has an advantage when setting adjustments for color films. A camera body with a manual override of the light metering system is needed for infrared film because conventional light meters do not measure the spectral region to which the color infrared film is sensitive. Bracketing experimentation may be necessary to get the proper camera settings for infrared film. Bracketing involves adjusting one of the three variables that is film speed, lens aperture and shutter speed and recording the frame number and the complete setting of the camera. A film auto winder is recommended when several frames will be taken rapidly. Other type of cameras are available depending on the equipment used by a particular company. Lens are critical for an optical system to record images. Select them carefully because lens quality is very important in aerial photography. Filtering system. Atmospheric haze can distort aerial photograph. Haze is the scattering of ultraviolet and short wavelength blue light by moisture and microscopic particles of the dust and pollution in the air. A bluish tint often appears on slides or prints under normal summer conditions without the use of a haze filter. This tint decreases and images visibility and resolution. The haze filter absorbs ultraviolet and blue light giving the image better color balance and resolution. Color infrared film requires a yellow lens filter to absorb all blue light entering the camera. Density of the filter and amount of light filtered affect the color balance of a slide. Film. Two types of films may be used for aerial crop monitoring that is true color and color infrared. Color infrared photography in fact because each has some unique advantages. A number of producers elect to use both by mounting two cameras together and operating them simultaneously. True color films shows crops in their familiar natural colors that is normal leaves are green, chlorotic leaves yellow, but it cannot detect crop stresses to the degrees of color infrared film. True color film and its processing are inexpensive and readily available and processing turn around time is short. Color infrared film that is CIR film which is sensitive to the near infrared wavelength can make what is invisible to the eye visible on film through tonal and color differences. It not only produces a high contrast between non-living objects and natural foliage, but can detect subtle changes that occur when plants become stressed or diseased. Changes in the chlorophyll concentration, internally structure and orientation of the leaves of stressed plants alter reflectance of the infrared wavelength of light. Stressed plants will generally reflect less infrared radiation than non-stressed plants, a difference the CIR film will pick up. Disadvantages of CIR film compared to true color are its purchase and processing cost and more importantly its processing time. The cost of film and processing are minor relative to the total cost of aerial photography, but the two or more weeks often required for commercial processing make its use impractical for short term management decisions. Example for those who do their own film processing Kodak E4 hobby pack development chemical can be used for CIR film. Photographic resolution. Spatial resolution of aerial photographs is largely dependent on the following factors. Lens resolution, optical quality, film resolution, film flatness which is normally not a problem, atmospheric conditions which changes all the time and aircraft vibration and motion which are random. Film resolution depends mainly on granularity. There is a standard definition of photographic resolution is the maximum number of line pairs per mm 
that can be distinguished on a film when taken from a resolution target as shown in the following figure. If the scale of the aerial photograph is known, we can convert the photographic resolution to a ground resolution. Ground coverage A photograph may have a small coverage if it is taken either at a low flight height or with a narrower viewing angle. The advantages of photographs with small coverages are that they provide more detail and less distortion and displacement. It is easier to analyze a photograph with a small coverage because similar target will have less distortion from the center to the edge of the photograph and from one photograph to the other. The disadvantage of photographs with small coverages is that it needs more flight time to cover an area and thus the cost will be high. Moreover, mosaicing may cause more distortion. A large coverage can be obtained by taking the photograph from a higher altitude or using a wider angle. The quality of photographs with a large coverage is likely to have poorer photographic resolution due to larger viewing angle and likely stronger atmospheric effect. The advantages are that a large coverage is simultaneously obtained, requires less geometric mosaicing and cost less. The disadvantages are that it is difficult to analyze targets in detail and that target is severely distorted. Essentially, the size of photo coverage is related to the scale of the raw aerial photographs. Choosing photographs with a large coverage or a small one should be based on the budget at hand, task and equipment available. The following are some of the advantages and disadvantages of aerial photography in comparison with other types of data acquisition systems. Advantages High resolution Flexibility High geometric reliability and relatively inexpensive Where the disadvantages include Daylight exposure that is 10 am to 2 pm is required Poorer contrast at shorter wavelengths films not reusable which is inconvenient, inefficient for digital analysis. Thank you very much and have a nice day ahead.